Welcome to an episode of Upcycled, Recycled, Recycled, Upcycled and Recycled, Revisited at this Easter bank holiday. And today we join Dan in his workshop. What is he going to be upcycling today? Well today he's going to upcycle, recycle, upcycle this antique oak table that was a family heirloom. Oh, my family heirloom table survived two world wars for the London bombings, has been handed down for centuries, but it didn't last more than two months in the hands of a pyromaniac. It's time for it to become something new. Join us later as Dan does some more work. As you can see, Dan is hard at work. He's got the router and he's got his very clever jig that he's created for all the stop points. And he's routering out a circle. But can you guess what it's gonna be? Come back later to find out more. So, we join Daniel back in his workshop. He's part way through the day. And we thought we'd have a look and see how it's progressing. Well, what could it be? Can we guess what it's going to be? Is it a cartwheel? Is it a new wheel for his expensive push bike? Ready for Friday's 80 mile ride? I know somebody who knows and I think he's getting a little bit excited. Has Dan taken up archery or darts? And this is a new prototype board. No, this is not a cog for some kind of elaborate clockwork animatron. Bonfire, ah, oh, my lord, bonfire, ah, oh. ooh, bonfire, ah. Oh. So, one down. One to go. So, a few technical hitches with the second one, with the router blade slipping. So it's not quite exactly the same, but there we have a lovely pair of, I don't know, but there, that one's finished. So as I said, there's an error with the second board and the surface area wasn't big enough. So here you can see the stages of what I've done in order to fix that and make the board bigger. So the second one's finished. And what was a mistake that I'd accidentally uh, taken too much off the board because of a router incident where to grab the grain and ripped it open has turned out to be quite a feature. So that is bits of cherry branch that I've cut up and then I've resin filled it and then routed it off to create a new section to the board. And then to match the resin feel, I've resin filled all the rest of it. Just fitted the pegs just now. You see there's a few little bits of dust. And the last thing to do now is to get some varnish on that. And it's good to go. But what is it? Well, you'll have to come back later to find out. Well, that's all we've got time for in this episode of upcycling, recycling, upcycling, recycling, 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 and upcycling revisited. And to find out what Dan has created, you will need to keep an eye on this channel. Thank you.